Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomology's crop-wise pest list, and I am going to tell you about the pest of sorghum in this lecture. So let's move on. So I am going to tell you about the pest of sorghum and uh, mainly about the major pest diseases which are caused by these uh, insects in the sorghum. So First, we must need to know about some general information in the yield loss in sorghum due to insect pest. So, around uh, shoot fly and stem borer, which are said to be reported, that around 25.34 and uh, percentage and 8.60 quintals per hectare loss is mainly caused by sh shoot fly and stem borer in these insects, as well as 25.1 and uh, 41 quintals per hectare lo uh, loss is said to be recorded in the fodder yield of crops when it is grown in rabi and kharif seasons respectively and uh, another one of the major important pest uh, sorghum yield loss incidents recorded is uh, shoot bug so which is uh, mainly a minor pest now it is said to be transformed into a major pest due to some of the major states of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Andhra and Tamil Nadu. So it is said to be caused that it is used to cause up to a crop loss of up to 41 percentage in India as the last final report. And uh, now we can able to move on for the lectures. So I am going to tell you about the uh, common name as well as their scientific name and uh, family and order. So these are the list so you can able to study for the your final exams so let's move on and first i am going to tell you about the shoot fly where the scientific name is atrigona varia soccata so the major symptom is dead heart of sim dead heart symptom where the central shoot of the sorghum is said to be dried and uh, while once we are able to cut open up the dead uh, dead sorghum shoots the infested use it to produce more side tillers as well as there is a maggots which are said to be found inside the stems and while seeing about the identification of pest the adult is said to be white grayish um, fly and the eggs are said to be white cylindrical and distally somewhat flattened ones and it is said to be one of the major as well as the serious pest of sorghum which is mainly attack during in summer in Coimbatore and in southern districts during October to December and the infestation can nearly goes up to 86 percentage uh, of crop loss in uh, several conditions and a female can be able to lay up to 20 to 25 eggs in its lifespan of around 17 to 23 days and uh, some other characteristics you must need to know about them are the larva there is a the lifespan Span of the larva is around 8 to 10 days and they were said to be classified on four instar classification and pupa which is inside the stem at the base as well as in soil where the lifetime is around as well as pupation takes place at around 8 to 10 days in the life cycle and uh, the major management practices we can able to go for these flies or use of resistant varieties as well as um, or else we can be able to go for early sowing of sorghum during southwest as well or northeast monsoon and we can also go for seed treatments like imidacloprid at 10 gram per kilogram of seeds and uh, we can also use it to set up traps like TNAU low cost fish meal traps at 12 per hectare when the crop is around 30 days old so it is also an effective one so I am going to tell some instruction about the use of fish meal trap to attract these flies. So we must need to keep around 5 gram of wet fish meal in the polythene bags with the 6 holes at the diameter of 3 mm diameter and uh, 0.1 ml of dichloripause is said to be placed with a piece of cotton. So around uh, 50 traps per hectare is said to be an effectively used one for the control of these flies. And uh, next one we are going to see our stem borer which, uh, where the scientific name is Chiropatilus and the major symptom is dead heart as well as the there is a shoot hole on the tender leaf fold structures. So the identification of pest or the eggs is said to be scaly with a flatty oval eggs which are said to be found under the leaves near the midribs and the larva which is said to be yellowish brown with a brown color and a prothoracic shield is said to be present in them and the adult one which is a moth one which is said to be a medium sized moth with a straw color is the characteristics of the stem borer 
so these are the damage symptoms of the stemborus of shorgum and i have also given the biology of the life cycle of chylopatlas which is a stembor in shorgum and uh, so while knowing about these crops they are mainly affect throughout the year in northern part of the country uh, but may the severe occasions um, occasions are said to be found during november to february and it uh, crops which are said to be infest mainly during after the sowing and uh, attacks till the crop is said to be harvested so it is one of the serious pest in sorghum and uh, the knowing about the pupation it is used to pupate within a week and uh, the management uh, practices we can able to go or we can able to release a biocontrol agent like trichogramma miniatum and a bracon chinensis Uh, in the field level or else we can also move for the light traps in them and one of the effective one is uh, removal of dead hordes and uh, it can be used as fodder or uh, buried in the manure pits so we can able to destroy those eggs as well as the larvae present in them so we can able to stop the second generation of these um, stem of these uh, stem borers and uh, we must also go for lab lab or cowpea as an intercrop at the ratio of 4 is to 1 so it is an effective one against these insects and the next we are going to move for ear head bug where the scientific name is calocoris angustatus so the symptom of damage is where the nymph and adult used to suck the juice from the grain and uh, which is said to be a major pest during the milky stage and uh, the grains which are said to be turned into black and uh, they are ill filled as well as in chaffy in number so the presence of large number of nymphs and adults are seen on the ear heads in the sorghum plant so while seeing about the identification of these pests the exercise to be blue scissor shaped and laid under the glooms or in the middle of the floor and the nymphs are said to be slender or green in color and the adults which are said to be male is said to be green in color and the female is said to be with brown margin so the sorg yeah, while knowing about some of some other name points of sorghum ear head bug so the total life period is around 15 to 17 days but the nymphal period is mainly around 10 days and uh, while in egg they used to move around 15 days and uh, some other things we it is said to be also one of the major south uh, serious pest in south india due to it used to cause a uh, damage up to an extent of around 15 to 30 percentage so it is one of the serious pest in sorghum and uh, management practices are we can able to go for the application of carbonyl malathion paspon neem seed kernel extract yeah once if we found these insects in the field level and uh, next one is sorghum mitch mm. so the scientific name is contarnia sorghicola so the ma- major symptom of damage is they use it to cause the white pupal case protruding on the sorghum leaves so which used to get um, close contact um, with the sorghum seeds and uh, used to have a white fabby web like structures in them and uh, it also caused the chaffy you can able to see them with the chaffy grains with holes and uh, while knowing about their adult characteristics the fly is said to be small and fragile with a bright orange abdomen and they used to have a pair of transparent wings for the motion movement and uh, i am seeing about the sorghum mitch it is also an important serious pest in sorghum where it used to cause the loss range up to 20 to 50 percentage in serious conditions so the female which used to lay eggs inside the developing florets around 330 to 100 eggs per maggot can able to lay eggs in the sorghum plant and uh, the larva disappears is said to be noticed in soil debris as well as in even in the host wild host plants so they used to cause the emerge in the tip of glumules while the white pupal case is attached to the tip of the floret is said to be an important characteristics we can able to note once of the sorghum which attacks the field and uh, the management practices or uh, the major setup of light traps can be done or else we must need to move for the insecticides applications like carbaryl malathion paspon neem seed kernel extract during the uh, during as well as after the panicle emergence stage at 18th day and the next one is ear head caterpillar 
So the scientific name is Helicoverpa omigera and while seeing about their symptoms of damage the earheads are said to be partially eaten with a chalky appearance is the major symptom we can able to see in the earhead caterpillars and while seeing about the and also we can able to see the fecal pellets are said to be visible near the earheads so they there must be a large number of fecal pellets once these Helicoverpa attack the sorghum plant and while seeing about the identification of pupets the eggs are said to be spherical in shape with a white creamy in color and uh, laid singly larva which used to show color variation from green to brown and uh, the pupa which is said to be brown and it used to pupate um, even in soil leaf pots as well as in crop debris so we must need to take care once if these pests are noted and the adult which is said to be light pale brownish yellow with stout mouth and there is a olive green to plain color in four wings which is shaped as the center of mouth in their four wings and the hind wings are said to be smoky white with blackish outer margin is there it is the pictures of the larva as well as the adult ones in the crop level as well as the rear um, collected ones and while seeing about these are some other characters we must need to know about the helica orpa in sorghum or so the eggs uh, which is said to be spherical and pupa brown in color and the larva which used to have a polychromism characters so polychromism is nothing but where the larva can able to uh, have different host without any um, interaction between those uh, host crops and the adult which is to be light pale to brown with stout mouth and the management is major management is set up of light traps and paramount traps at 12 per hectare or else uh, we can able to go for the hca npv application so helicoverpa armigera npv application so it can able to destroy those insect or else we can able to move for the insecticides like carbolin malathion and pos posanol uh, 4d at 25 kg per hectare and uh, the other thing or other important disease in sorghum is plant life where the scientific name is rofalospium madius and the symptom of damage where there is a yellowing of leaves and uh, the aphids which is said to be colonized near the leaf hole and while seeing about the identification of pest there is a yellow with dark green legs are said to be found and uh, while seeing about the life stages the former one is said to be yellow with dark one uh, which used to live center the central leaf and they are said to be Pathno genetically reproducible pest, uh, but it is not a serious pest in sorghum. But the cloudy and humid weather, uh, which used to favors reproduction in these insects. So, and the next thing one we are going to see in sorghum are shoot bugs. So, the scientific name is Peregrinus maidus, and the symptom of damage where the unhealthy plant used to get stunted and yellow in nature, and they also cause a sooty mold disease on the leaves. so which also causes the secondary infection by plant pathogens and uh, which use it to turn the midrib of the leaf into red due to egg laying and may dry up uh, subsequently and while seeing about the identification of pest so the eggs are said to be laid inside the leaf tissues and covered with white waxy substance as well as the adult which are said to be yellowish brown to dark brown with translucent wings in nature and uh, the ada while seeing about the management spray of 0.0.04% uh, of diazine or else uh, we can able to move for dimethyate at 0.02 percentage and uh, the or else we can able to go for the application of posporomidion at 250 ml in 450 to 500 liters of water per hectare is an effective one against these insects and the next one we are going to see is earhead webworm so while seeing about the characteristics of earhead webworm there is a they used to produce a extensive webbing of grains in the earhead as well as they also cause the grain broken damage due to its feeding nature and other they said to be small with dark brown fore wings and uh, light brown hide wings so while seeing about the webworm they used to affect during october to december and uh, the life to um, total life span is around 9 to 10 days and the egg period is around 3 to 4 days and the pupation period is around 7 days so the moth is said to be small and the larva is said to be narrow lighter brown color larva with a dark head 
and uh, the next one we are going to see is pink stem borer where the scientific name is sesamia inference and the major symptom is dead heart symptom where the central shoot dries and produce and dries and uh, while saying about the identification of pests the eggs are said to be bead in la, bead which is said to be laid in rows with the leaf sheet and the larva which is said to be pinkish brown with the dark heads and the adult is straw color moth with white wings and we can able to move for those uh, pig stem borers management like spraying of malathion at 1 liter per hectare at uh, every 20 days interval after germination is said to be an effective one and the other uh, pest uh, other minor pest in sorghum are flea beetles which are said to be small uh, presence of small holes or shoot holes in the leaves due to their feeding nature and uh, the flea beetles are classified based on their color with the different scientific names so the black beetle having four yellow spots or monolepta signata and the yellow beetles with long black sticks on their electro or cryptocephalus skid skidity or some of the flea beetle scientific name and red spider mite which is also an uh, minor pest in sorghum so where they use it to convert the leaves into yellow and reddish brown completely they uh, use it to we can able to use it to find these insect due to the presence of fine silk and webs on the under surface of the leaves and the red colored mites on the leaf surface and uh, the semiloper which is it be pale yellow green color which used to cause extensive webbing of grains and the adult are said to be small with the pink buff colored wings and so we can able to go for integrated pest management in sorghum so the cultural method is ash uh, usual for all the crops we can able to first make the cultural uh, plowing practices after the harvest and uh, we must need to remove the old stubbles and destroy them and uh, we can also move for the intercroppings like sorghum plus lapa but the ratio of 4 is to 1 and also take the yearly sowing of sorghum and the next one is mechanical method where you can able to go for use of light traps six pheromone traps as well as the low cost fish meal trap which is created by tnau and uh, the biological method is application of npv at 10 days interval in the crop for the control of helicoverpa and the chemical methods is use of the special insecticides specific insecticides for the particular insect also we can able to use seed pelleter insecticide in the seed levels so i have given the lecture notes in description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos